of dollars in your account. Amen. It's being in possession of dollars in your account is right. So we have to go and prove this thing. And I'm happy that it has happened because all the time I was walking the streets of Lusaka, just thinking people are thinking I'm a thief. Finally, they have given me an opportunity to go and prove in court that I'm free. This is a good opportunity for me. And I've said before, friends of mine in the patriotic front, for them to come for me, you should know that no one is safe. All of us in the patriotic front, be ready, my brothers and sisters. Be ready. And when they call you to the police, please volunteer. Go quickly so that we can prove ourselves innocent. So that quickly, they have nothing else to talk about. Instead of fixing drugs in hospitals, they are calling us thieves. They have more drugs in the hospitals and saying they are not drugs because we have stopped. How can that be? We left drugs in hospitals. Now they even use the expired drugs they give them to people. And now they don't even have any panadol whatsoever in all these hospitals. What kind of government? They are spending time sending police here. Instead of those policemen going to guard the city market, going to guard places where criminals are, they are sending police officers to come and guard me. Am I a fugitive? Am I a treason suspect? I'm only being suspected of having money in my account. That's all. The fact that I had money in my account has become a, a, a crime. And for that they bring police. This is the same reason why they are lining up police every day. Female police officers without any sanitation, they are lining up the streets to do what? To protect one individual. And yet that person is supposed to be living in state house. He has refused to live in state house. He is exposing our female police officers to unsanitary conditions, all in the name of him saying state house is not too good for him. And yet he was campaigning to go to state house. All the other presidents, six presidents before him, were willing to occupy state house except him. I can assure him that he too, his day is coming. He shall not be president of Zambia forever. Even if he attempts to amend the constitution to make himself like president of the country, like he made himself like president of the UPND, we shall not allow him. And one day we shall remind him of Mpanza. Thank you.